Today we'll continue the series of videos with Clown Wake thumbnails and talk about how the wrong tower cross paths make the abilities stronger. So let's start with the heli and how everyone goes for the top path which unlocks the pursuit option to make the heli chase balloons automatically. If you're going for the special operations tier 5 though, you should go for the bottom path instead because the faster firing extra attack speed affects the marine as well and makes it attack 25% faster. The ice tower cross path is kinda interesting because the way that we usually build the middle path ice towers is by cross pathing with the bottom path which can keep balloons frozen in place forever. The perma Frost upgrade however makes balloons move out slower after getting hit by the ice and this effect is transferred to the ability as well and you can see the moab at the top moving a lot slower even after the ability ends thanks to the permafrost upgrade. Now talking about the carpet of spikes, there's no doubt that the top path is usually better but on maps with multiple tracks the bottom one is really good. So if you go for the smart spikes upgrade and get the 052, on maps like muddy puddles for example the ability will automatically trigger only on the track on which the balloons are currently spawning and this goes for the passive and the active active abilities as well. I'll also just briefly mention the 042 Super Monkey which is definitely the worst cross path but there is some synergy between the knockback upgrade and the ability itself where the knockback will work on Moab class balloons by slowing them and kinda clump them up together and then set them up nicely for an ability. 